It's Indiana in the morning, and it's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Boy, we, we headphoned you guys up there, didn't we? Halfway. <laughs> Half, what'd you say, Ed? Halfway, or Ray? I said halfway. Halfway. I didn't put, well, I didn't put this side on. You've got the Josh phones on there. That's not a bad <laughs> oh, thing. My. You're lucky. Yeah, Greg and Rebecca uh, Sparks are on the telephone with us this morning. We're getting it all rolling here this morning. Uh, so um, let me let me do one thing here in my computer. Clear that away. It's not as if I'm not prepared for this or anything. There we go. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Just so everybody knows who's talking at any given time, we'll have our studio guests introduce themselves and then we'll talk to the Sparks on the phone. So, Ray, go first. Hi, I'm Ray Reinbold, uh, Grace Church uh, Outreach Committee person. We, we have a nice team over there, and we've done a lot of work trying to get this concert together, and I'm so glad that we can spread the news to some ears. Mm-hmm. And the other voice in our studio. Yeah. So my name is Christina Taylor-Porter. I'm the Outreach Committee chair, um, but it's not that extra responsibility. I just pulled this group together, so... And on the phone with us, the group that we're talking about this morning, the Sparks, Greg and Rebecca, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. There's a big group here. <laughs> yeah. We got the whole crew going here. Our conversation is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Uh, let's meet the Sparks. You guys are from Pittsburgh, right? That's right. Well, we've, we've been living in Pittsburgh and been missionaries in Pittsburgh and ministers here for 32 years, um, but I was born and raised in Johnstown. That's, I'm, a, I'm a Southwestern PA girl through she, and through. She's a Johnstowner. Uh-huh. We, yeah. we, we won't hold that against her. <laughs> uh, that's, where I, that's where I met her. That, that's where you met her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple of years ago, yeah. they were doing a concert. And... Yeah, yeah. Christina, where'd you go to school in Johnstown? Or, I'm sorry, Rebecca. That's okay, Rebecca. I went to Westland Hilltop. Oh, you're a hilltopper. She's a hilltopper. I'm a hilltopper. hilltopper. The worst mascot ever. Like, we... what? what? Hilltopper. Go, Hilltopper. Go, Hilltopper. We have a lot to overcome there with Rebecca. Don't we? Christine, I'm not going to yeah. ask where you went to school. No, I went to Marion Center. <laughs> there you go. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, the Sparks are coming here to uh, Indiana, uh, to Grace Church this weekend. Ray, this is a big thing, isn't it? It is for me. I, I, yeah. It's, <laughs> I really I really uh, love their their music. Uh, their, they uh, dialogue with the audience. They uh, it, uh, encourage people to sing along on some of the more well-known hymns that they did at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's where a lot of people, uh, Greg Sparks. That's where a lot of people really have come, have come to know you is through the Christmas event, right? We've been doing uh, Christmas concerts um, for probably around fifteen years or so now. Mm-hmm. I'm trying yeah. to think. Yeah. We did a Christmas project, and it was all real beautiful acoustic renditions of familiar songs, mostly. And um, and then we uh, recorded some more songs after that, after that that we wrote that original Christmas and it's just a wonderful time. But it is only like about three weeks of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and prior to that, we've been musicians and songwriters. Um, really, that's what Greg and I met mm-hmm. uh, in a Christian rock band back in the late seventies, and um, and that's just been the way that the Lord has um, kind of spoken through our lives uh, primarily has been, you know, especially in those early decades together of uh, traveling from town to town and, and sharing the, the good news of Jesus through music. Yeah. Yeah. Christina, of course, uh, in, in the studio with us uh, this morning, that's really what it's all about for Grace Church, isn't right. it? Yeah. Just bringing more people in at a different opportunity, sharing the, sharing new information and, just sharing this opportunity. And I was grateful that, uh, you know, we had Ray bring this to our committee and say, let's, you know, bring a concert to Grace. And something different than, I mean, we have amazing music already at Grace to begin mm-hmm. with, um, but creating another opportunity to uh, welcome our community, you know, people that may not be going to Grace already, uh, bringing them in and sharing this 
important information and creating a connection with God. So, yeah. 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 Greg and Rebecca, um, I, being where you're from, I, I'm sure that you've performed in Indiana before, have you not? Yeah. 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 I'm trying to think. We were there years and years ago, but it's been a long time. It's been a while. It's yeah. been a while since we've been in Indiana, PA, but I, um, in my life, I've definitely uh, sung and played. Well, that being the case, it's an opportunity for folks to maybe see you for the first time and, and get a fresh perspective on, on your ministry. Why is it so important to you uh, to be uh, bearers of the good news to the world? Well, I mean, we're, we're in a world right now that is, I mean, as the world has always been, in, as the Scripture says, groaning. You know, it's groaning and waiting um, for its deliverance. And, you know, we know, you know, we're, we're convinced um, by what we've seen and what we've heard and what we've tasted in Christ of his goodness and his kindness towards us, um, that, you know, not it, it, sometimes for people it like over sounds really oversimplified, but Jesus is the answer to, to what um, is plaguing and, and crushing and oppressing um, people in, in the world that we live in. Um, and we don't have to go too far to see um, how broken we are. Um, and I, there's just such a lack of joy. There's such mm -hmm. a lack of vision. Um, and these are all things that are found in Christ. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we're really energized. Um, even after this is my 45th year in ministry, but, you know, I, I just don't lose the energy for sharing that message because it's, it's needed. Yeah. And Greg, a music ministry has a special way of touching people's hearts, doesn't it? Absolutely. Music is a powerful language. If you think about going into a country where you don't know the language, how would you communicate? How could you communicate emotion or thought or generosity? And music is a language that crosses all of our lives, cultures. We all have these cultures we live in and our history, our family history, our, our you know, the experiences that we've had. But music is this language that goes across it all, and it's a, it's just a beautiful thing to see, um, you know, when you get the joy of playing music, to see how just a simple song, a uh, simple composition can speak just thousands of words to somebody's soul mm -hmm. and heart. Yeah. And, you know, the, the power and presence of God to take that and bring peace where there's just chaos and uncertainty, you know, all the things that are going on around us in our lives, our families. Uh, God wants us to sense his peace, and music is an incredible uh, tool for that. You know, Rebecca and I have, have been at ministers in music in the church and out of the church for decades. You know, we sound really old. We're not really that old. <laughs> we just started really young. Uh, but, but, um, you know, you see all these different ways that music touches people's lives, and, and it's a powerful tool. And we yeah. love we love being able to share what, what we've found in it. Well, let's ask well, the youngest person in the room, Christina Taylor Porter. I'll Do they them. sound old? Oh, Ray put his <laughs> hand up. Oh, well, you said the youngest one in the room. I'll take no, the what's, youngest. <laughs> what, really, what really struck me uh, during the live performance is we talk about the brokenness and the despair and mm -hmm. all the tragedy that happens in the world you can feel while while greg and rebecca are singing praising god you can feel the joy you can feel the love and it just fills the whole the whole venue yeah. whatever, wherever they are so yeah. I, I, I hope indiana what, comes out to experience that joy what a wonderful venue it is uh spring ahead with the sparks um and christina <laughs> yeah. um 6.30 coming up on That's right. Sunday, right? Yep, yep. So, um, you know, to some people's dismay, we lose an hour of sleep on, you know, leading into Sunday. But, um, but, but what happened last week? But We gained 24 hours. Right. So yeah. we're actually 23 hours so ahead, we, right? So we, exactly. Okay. So, so it'll be nice because we have, you know, this great event that helps us get ready for that spring time, you know, yeah. and, and really creating a lot more light. Uh, I think, you know, their presentation is going to create a lot of light in the lives of people. And so, you know, we're really encouraging people to come out and experience the music, experience the passion that they have, mm -hmm. and creating that awareness that, right. you know, there are people that there's a person that they can turn to that, you know, creates a new level of light in their life. So 
Um, so, yep, 6.30 on Sunday. Right. Um, and because we're Grace, we have some amazing bakers that will also be oh, having a cookie oh, yeah. uh, reception afterward to meet the Sparks. So you're not just going to be listening to them, but there's the opportunity to meet them afterward. Um, and Grace makes amazing cookies. So I, I, I was going to say, if you haven't been yet. <laughs> 60 <laughs> dozen. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we'll we have quite a few dozen. So. Um, so coming out and, and getting a chance to hear the music, and they will be there for our early services too. So our nine o'clock and our eleven o'clock service, we get a sneak preview of their amazing wow. work too. So wow! Yep. So morning worship as well. Greg and Rebecca, you've got a full day plan, don't you? We do. We do. I, I said I'm going to lose an hour. I, <laughs> I got a lot to hey, do. Hey, oh, I do want I want to remind people too because we're really sensitive to families. Um, we, you know, if, if you're a family, young family going out, oh, we've got kids, we can't bring them out. No, we, we actually, we, we have special songs just for the kids. And so bring the family. family yeah. And we, we don't, we don't drag on and on. So it's, it's a good night to get out with the family. And, um, so, you know, of course, cookies are always, you know. Yeah, yeah. Your kids <laughs> who, who, doesn't want, who doesn't want to bring kids and cookies? So, there you go. It's, yeah. it's, it's a great night with music and cookies, too, at yeah. Grace Church coming yeah. up on Sunday night, 630, Spring Ahead with the Sparks. Thanks, everybody, for coming in today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Todd. Thank you, Todd. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. CBS Sports with Boomer, presented by S&T Bank, People Forward Banking.